Waste of my life, waste of my time, waste of my- Welcome back to New Soccer Wars! I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskull. I really hope that running gag continues throughout the entire series and you have something new and negative to say with every episode. I hope so, too. At, at least something new. So, uh, we're all done for the day. Let's, uh, head back to our room and go to bed. Then, night falls. Gotta be careful, zombies get stronger at night. <laughs> you know, I, I would welcome that at this point. Well, got a lot done today. Oh, need to talk, meet me at the stage. Alright. No, is he gonna become our new actor? Nah, he's fixing the stage. Apparently he's got something to say to us. Let's go find out. What you got for me, Reiji? Kitaka, Seijuro. So what is it? Are you the leader of the Bataishuri? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't even know the stage was broken. Like, how busted is this stage? That's the perfect time for him to just fall through the floor. I mean, they're really trying to sell that this place is in absolute disrepair, and it doesn't look all that bad. It, it just looks like a rustic theater that, you know, it hasn't been updated in years, but it still looks good. I'd say maybe replace the floorboards, maybe do, do a, a fresh waxing. I don't know, could, could maybe uh, oil the, the curtain rods a little bit, dust them out. But we don't have the budget for anything crazy that you have. I mean, just, um, just a sim just simple repairs, just the basics, you know? Spare parts from the mechs? We, we need those! Is this the first Sakura Wars where we finally choose between combat and drama? I'm still liking the idea of, like, a management-type game. Hmm, we could close down the combat review section and just open up a theater. That sounds pretty nice, actually. If they ever make a Sakura Wars 7, or in, I guess in this case, Sakura Wars 2... I, th I think if they had, like, a management uh, sim-type gameplay, I think it would go over really well. And the thing is, you could still have, like, the dating sim aspect. It just depends on which person's, like, segment of the combat review you're helping out more. It's a, Consider it like Fire Emblem. The more you use them, the more they love you. That, like, really excites me, though. That would be, like, really fun, I think. You know, screw it. Just go the civilization route. Let's have you take over the entirety of Japan. Figure out this combat review mess. Now I'm going for for a religious victory this time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't want to go for the love victory? I'm going to convert everybody to Buddhism first. <laughs> All right. So stage is getting fixed for better or for worse. We need to decide now what kind of play we're going to be doing. Ooh, do you get a choice in this? No. Of course not. Of course not. <gasps> but. Oh. Ah! <laughs> we are finally meeting Azami face to face. <laughs> Hooray, my ninja is a young girl. <laughs> Azami is not bad, but just. Yeah. You know. Well, hey, look, look, look. I'm your captain, okay? I'm your superior officer. Oh, please. Some people seem to forget a lot. Somebody have her take this the wrong way, please. Nobody can control me. Nobody is my captain. Hmm. 
Azami, thankfully, listens to reason. She and you didn't really fall into a lot of traps with her. Good. You know, I hope they go full ham on this ninja route. And if she's out for revenge for her father, I'm just going to call her Hayabusa the entire time. <laughs> you know, I kind of want her gimmick to be she doesn't actually have any hands, but kunai's instead. I really hate her outfit. It looks stupid. Like... Doesn't seem very well, uh, like, equated for movement. It's fucking stupid. Ah, it looks like, uh, Zami's meeting up with the other girls. Let's go see what all the commotion is about. Check out the hallway. It doesn't seem to be anything right now, so if we go out here and wander... It oh, that's just a cutscene. Okay. You know, sometimes I wonder if this game is actually happening. Oh, it's happening. Like, maybe it's because I just, you know, collect all these current anime games and don't actually play them. I just can't believe that certain things are happening maybe you, in their stories. Maybe you should play one. Maybe you'll be surprised by what's on the screen. Maybe your tastes will change. Oh, they already have. I mean, it's more just the fact that, you know, weeb games become more rare the days after they're released. True. Except for this one. This one's like 30 bucks now. <laughs> that that hurts, though. That really hurts. Yeah. At least I got the stickers that came with it. I don't know if they still have them. Though. Hey, that's cool. Are they all Sakura stickers? Yeah, you'd think that. But, opening up, looking at the stickers here. Yep, show me the stickers. They, they look pretty okay. I mean... I haven't opened them yet, but we got we got all six we got all six of them. We got uh, Hatsuho, Seijiro, Anastasia, Clarissa, Sakura, and then Azami. You better keep those in mint condition. You know this game's gonna be like a hot collector's item in thirty years. It also comes with a costume bundle DLC. Oh right, I got that too. Oh, but so uh. I decided to go the extra mile here. I got all the costumes. Really? Yeah. You did one better than me. So starting chapter four, we'll we'll switch to all the new costumes. Every chapter will be a new costume, but uh, we'll finish this one and the next one. And oh, oh hey, Koi Koi Wars. Ooh. This is a this is an entire side game called. <gasps> Koi Koi Wars. Did I see Hanafuda? Yes. Oh, I've been learning about Hanafuda playing 51 Clubhouse games. So, I, I, I like Koi Koi. Koi Koi is fun. Are we going to play some now? Yes! Yeah, we're going to play some, we're, we're gonna play some now. All right! Play some Koi now Koi. This, now, this carries over from your previous saves, and I have played a lot. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Wow! I have played a lot. I have beaten a lot of people. Oh, that's and cool! The person I am on right now is Itsuki here. God, I hate her. Is it just See, difficult, or...? So the thing about Koi Koi, you know, especially in this game, all you gotta do is keep playing till you win. There's a little bit of strategy, but a lot of it is luck. And a lot of the <coughs> challenge comes in the computer getting every card they need. So I'll show you how it goes. Uh, f so first off, I'm gonna go with this one here. That's a good one to get. Uh, it's good to go for ribbons and to g go for uh, picture cards because if they're just flowers, those are just junk and that's really just kind of fodder. But you can use that to get other cards. The idea how it works is that you need to match the flower with uh, the card that you want. Yeah, Hanafuda is also based on the months of the year, correct? And a, a few different aspects. There's, there's, of, there's of some the learning. Vari there's some variations of it. Yeah, if you want to learn how to play Hanafuda, I would say look it up because this is like the quick and dirty version. I'm noticing. Yeah. Like it's I just quick, simple, and all that. Aha! There we go. 
any seeds. That means I get five, you know, different animals there. But, uh... Oh, cool. You can stop here or call Koi Koi and keep it going and get a higher score. Mm-hmm. Doesn't always work, though. As we're going to see right now. So I hate playing against Itsuki because she always is bouncing around and it's distracting. <laughs> the caffeine's kicking in. And uh, she always goes, gee, whenever I do a good move, which also gets annoying. And that's a good card that she got there. I can't remember which cards are the most powerful cards. Are they December's cards? What do you... December's card? Oh, god damn it! Oh, she got the junk. Fuck. Again, oh. still learning terminology. So, she got the boar and the full moon. Oh, right, they're sets that yeah. you're trying to make. Mm -hmm. Not exactly cards. Okay. Like, I think these flowers are based on the... on the moon. They're the... The, the, the months, yeah. Mm -hmm. But all I need to know is just just try and make try and match, try and get the good cards, and then eventually you'll end up with a good pair. So if it looks like it's a good one, try and go for it. Ah! Three lights! God damn it! And I got nothing! You hate to see it. I got nothing! You hate to see it. Well, well she, she called Koi Koi, so hopefully maybe I can try and pull something together. Maybe I can get one more uh, one more ribbon card, and I can just call on that and start a new hand. My god. This is awful. I'm not getting anything good right now. Well, I got... Uh, Alright, I got a chance. If I get one more ribbon or one more uh, bird, I think I might be okay. No, one the, more ribbon, one more that's bird. That's the button. Oh my god! She got bear, she got boar, deer, and butterfly! She just beat me! Mercilessly. What a disgrace! What a crock of shit! I get, I get really irritated when I play Koi Koi and they win like that, so let's get the fuck out of here. Because <laughs> now, I hate this character. <laughs> Now I hate you, because you, you beat me so handily, me. and you fucking yeah. stacked the deck, and you cheated. I swear to God, some of these characters stack the deck. I now have a different opinion. I have a different opinion of you, you know, all throughout now. So oh, you, I've... so you unlock new uh, opponents. What? Why would you text me that? So we're gonna go ask to be Anastasia's apprentice. That's what she really wants, so she can be like Sasha. I, so I thought that said applesauce. <laughs> it did say applesauce. She can't spell or shit. Ah! It's supposed to be endearing or something. Oh no! So you got the cute idiot. You get new opponents in Koi Koi Wars by beating other opponents or unlocking more in the story. But we've got some bromides to get. Oh, what's up, bromide? Who do we got this time? Koron Lee. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll run with it. Man, I'm, you just, know, I'm just hoping and begging for a Sakura Wars Legacy Collection. Come on. I, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Like, this is supposed to be not exactly the anniversary game, but it's supposed to be like, hey, remember all the other Sakura Wars games? You know, kind of wink, wink, nudge, nudge kind of game. Well, we're in the West, so no! That's probably the sad part. What's up, Hatsuko and part. Hazami? What are you two talking about? I'm here to butt in in your conversation, unannounced. Because I'm your, I'm your captain. I can do what I want. You know, it's probably good that this uh, didn't get dubbed. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, pronunciations are hard, especially when you have a director who doesn't know the proper pronunciations. And then again, when you said those names with that specific spacing... It reminded me that four kids existed at one point. Uh. Our main character would be voiced by Jason Griffith. So, what should I call her? Azzy, Master Mochizuki, or Miss Mochizuki? Yeah. Uh, Master. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the Miss. Master might be too great, but we'll go with Miss Mochizuki. Just keep it neutral, keep it cool. 
Yeah, see, Aww. see, see, she's got a level head. I mean, I hate the way she's dressed, but hey, we got all the costumes. I can change that, and at least she's easy to talk to. So I have a Japan question for you, and I'm I'm hoping you know this because I don't. I will answer to the best of my ability. Okay, so the Mister and Mrs. the suffixes. Is that basically what we did? We gave her the proper proper suffix, I guess? That's what I'm thinking of. I think it was the difference between using San, Sama, and Chan. Okay. San is, is you know, typical. You know, I'd, you'd call her Mochizuki-san, definitely. Uh, oh, another bromide. Super Okujo! Oh, hell yeah! I remember that scene. In the picture that totally doesn't indicate what kind of character she is. <laughs> that is, that's totally not Super Okujo to me. It was a disguise that she used to fool people because, <laughs> you know, whatever. Well, she also had like a Yakuza clan tattoo on the back. Well, we don't know the basis. But I think at this point in the playthrough for Soccer Wars 5, we don't know what that's about yet, do we? Uh, no we don't. We just know that that scene happened and it kicked ass. I mean, I know what it is. It's basically the mark that makes them, uh... La 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 I don't know yet. Hey, Clarice, what's you up to? Reading your books? <laughs> you know, when we finally beat Sakura Wars 5 in the year 2023, <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to look back on this one. <laughs> I'd miss it, to be honest. I do too. I really miss I was it. Just thinking that. All right, so looking for some books. I mean, it's your own damn library, so. You know, Clara seems like the perfect girl to have like a parody made of her. Like this entire game can be easily parodied. Like if you <laughs> want a, a quick and easy joke with Clara, you could just have her like open a book and then she just slams her head down on the desk into the book. That's how much she loves books. Like it, <laughs> yeah, stuff writes itself. So we got to find three books in these shelves. Did you did, did you catch what they were? Uh, no. I was too busy thinking of parodies. Oh no! Well, now you got to figure out which books which books to get. Secrets of Choreography is one of them. Now, did she clearly say them? Yes. Oh, she, she also shit. said, "I'll only say them once." Oh. So make sure you pay attention. Uh, so, choreography. Stars of the Imperial Theater. Okay. And the last book. It's 50 Years of Ginza, but I would totally read 50 Yakuza in Ginza. That sounds cool. Yeah. Is Ginza a province? It, it's basically a subset in Tokyo. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, like Akihabara, like Shibuya, places like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, that worked! Oh, oh my god, you have ears! You can Great. listen and retain information! Wow, <laughs> I really admire you now, Captain! <laughs> she suddenly gets distracted by a line of text in a book off to the desk while speaking to you. Oh my gosh, Captain, you really... Claris. <laughs> Claris. Woo! Claris! And then a comedic slam as she smashes her face into a book. Ah. Been reading science books lately. They're always a fun read. You've been blowing your own mind from what I'm hearing. Oh, yes. Do you think Claris is interested in science or is she more the read-all type? I think she's it. I think she's one of those pretentious readers that likes the classics. Ah, <laughs> oh, Romeo and Juliet is my favorite. <laughs> oh, really? It's like, oh yes, uh, read, re reading Oresteia in its original form is, is is just a beautiful read. It's like, oh yeah. Well, do you know that? Do you know about uh, the 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 hot and dense? Uh, State of the universe in its first few seconds after the Big Bang? No, I didn't think so! Uh, I think she would be one of the pretentious ones saying that Catcher in the Rye was her favorite book. What do you want, you cheater? 
<laughs> okay, you know how in Link's Awakening, where if you if you steal from the store successfully, you are automatically known as thief throughout the entire game. We'll see. I wish, I wish we could label her cheater. I mean, for the entire game. Three lights and board, deer, and butterfly. That's like the only six cards that you need. Like that's there's no way you could have gotten that without stacking the deck. It's the heart of the cards, man. It's real. Yeah, that would do. It knew I was recording, and I was like, "Okay, let's wrap it up. Let's let's make it quick here." Well, that's just an urban legend known as the Let's Play Curse. Uh -huh. As soon as you press that record button, all of a sudden, everything goes wrong. I'm thinking, yeah, it'd be it'd be cool if I could be Itsuki, and you know, while, while recording, and well, that didn't fucking happen. I shouldn't have koi koi in the first place. Just quit while you're ahead. You got greedy. Actually, uh, going back to that game, if you don't call Koi Koi, does that just end the round? Yeah, it just ends the round and you get the points. Piss oh. Pisses them off, too, and it's wonderful. <laughs> like, well, that's kind of like not doubling down in, what is it, Blackjack? Where you basically say, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, new stuff. Komachi! What's up? Oh, wait, did we already buy our bromide for this chapter? Uh, not yet, but, but every time that there's a new, uh, I guess, section, a new, mm. a, a, a new part, there's usually a new bromide. So if, 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 oh. you, if she's got some sort of exclamation mark over her, that means that she's got some kind of bromide to tell you. Aw, oh, cool. Now I'm just thinking of Kamachi. Her T-pose is just that smile in the background. She doesn't even T-pose. She just smiles forever. Okay, compliments, compliments. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I can compliment you. Uh, you have hair. Here comes Tokyo's top shopkeep. You're the best. That's pretty good. Shoot finger guns at her and she might just fall head over heels. Oh, come on. But... Have faith in yourself, damn it! Yeah, there you go! Ha <laughs> ha! That was close. Alright, let's get a bromide. Sweet! What do we got this time? Well, we now have all. F oh, we don't have Anastasia Ooh. yet. But we do have a zombie bromide you can buy now. Uh, what should we get? Uh, we'll get another Hatsuho one. Yes! Queen! Yeah, yeah, cool, all right. Hatsuho, the cleaner of the courtyard, brushes so violently that she uproots grass. So it looks like the last thing to do now is head to the stage, but we got one more bromide we can try and grab. It's uh, it's having to do with the prop store, and I think it's inside though. Yeah, it's inside. In this box, not this box, not that box, that box, there we go. Hey, there we go. Don't you love it when guides are it's somewhat the, vague? It's the Paris oh. Combat Review! Oh, damn. Look at those Tenchi Muyo looking motherfuckers. I miss it so bad. I miss that 90s aesthetic. <laughs> I do too! Kosuke Fujishima is a fantastic artist. I love him so much. What are you two you know, doing? I've got a game for you. What do you got? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. You've you've probably heard of it, but I want it to be a surprise one day. It's not Dark Rose Valkyrie, is it? No. 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 So, Sakura wants Anastasia to teach her to be a great actress. But she's like, uh, I'm busy, so no. But that's just not good enough for precious little Sakura! But hey, you know, I'll go ahead and say, I want you to do this for me, you know. Captain to, to, you know, subordinate. Just, could you please? 
Oh god, get off of me. Well, isn't that why you came here to find talent? It's it's for the good of the of the theater, man. Well, okay. I tried. Sorry, Sakura. I guess you won't be her apprentice. Tough shit. Oh, come on! <laughs> she just walks away so sad. I guess I'm a failure, Sob. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. Man up! So now there is a heart above Sakura there. This is what... You get a special lovey scene! Yep. This is what's known as a tete a tete. Ah. We'll get there in a minute. Just, just, it's baffling that Sakura is so goddamn depressed that Anastasia said no, I don't have the time. And she's like, oh man. She's a child! She has the maturity of an eight year old! And also, Mr. Commander here, if you don't want to look suspicious, don't just walk in. Knock on the damn door. Yeah, there you go. Like that! Hi. <sighs> hey, are you depressed? Remember how Gemini in Soccer Wars 5 was like the main girl, you know, she's on all the promotional artwork and all that stuff like that, but you didn't get, you didn't really get to use her until like chapter 5 or 6. Mm hmm Oh, well, here is the problem with having your main girl be everywhere because now you can't get her the fuck off of you. This is Actually, you know, this is Ted a Ted. Oh. Look around the room, click on stuff, and try and further the dialogue, and yeah, this is a way to get like crazy big points. Okay. So, well, can't do anything right now. I guess I can just talk to her for now. What, slightly distraught? Disappointed? Actually, now that I think about it, I know why Gemini was part of the main advertisement. And it actually has to do with a Hollywood trope. Why's that? Have you ever heard of the myth that if you have red hair, you'll get hired for an acting gig? I have not. That's why Emma Stone dyed her hair red. Yeah. And look at that, she got plenty of roles because of it. So, having Gemini, a redhead, on the front of your box, did wonders for Sakura Wars 5. I mean, it didn't break any records or anything, but it was a way to get people to buy it subliminally. Mm, citation needed. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's not the real, <laughs> real way, but, and now that's that was years ago, and now we need to have like younger-looking anime girls on the front of boxes in order to sell copies. No, we just need this that's... one, just her. Well, I mean, when the world revolves around you, maybe that is all you need. I mean, I'm not hard to please. Despite Bullshit. despite what people say, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but when it comes to like weeb games like this, yes, you fucking are. Yeah, but okay, so you got you got to see between the main character and the main girl. Mm -hmm. When it comes to that, I'm not hard to please. If it's if it's nice, if it's tender enough, you know, I I am a sucker for that shit. Okay, I am a big time sucker for that. But this, I'm just holding my head in my hands, my god! This is, this is, this is, this is draining. No, I understand that. I, I, I like a good, like a good heart flutter story. It's cute. Be and because we're so early in the story, you know, it's, it's just like, Oh, I love her passion. I lo uh, seeing her like this is so strange. It's like, well, I don't know what she's like. I can't, I don't know enough about her to care. And I think I know too much about her, and I don't give a shit anyway. Like, like, I'm supposed to feel bad that Sakura is not going to be Anastasia's apprentice? I don't care! I don't care! Get over it! I mean, you know what would kind of make this 
Because yeah, it seems like they're they're streamlining straight to, you know, this is your main girl, you're supposed to like her, and all of that, whatever. If there was a gradual progression, and by, like, chapter four, she started asking for apprenticeship, I think that would work a tad better, in my opinion. The only reason why she's sad is because, I won't get to be like Sakura, no, who's a great performer. It's like, well, maybe you're not cut out to be her! Well, that's just bad writing. <laughs> Like, let's be honest, if your only motivation is, I want to be like somebody else, you're not that unique. I know! I'm sure you will be. You've always believed in yourself, right? I mean... Believe in yourself. Have some of that you may in your heart. I mean... If we don't succeed in this play, we're sunk. We're going under. Tokyo loses a, a uh, distinct force that keeps them safe. And we're out of a job, house, and home. But she don't give a fuck about that. It's like, oh no, no, I won't be able to achieve my dream of being like my favorite pop star. You know, dreams are multi-step processes, right? She seems to lost confidence in herself because Anastasia said no. Like, really? But hey, she has a lot. Like she has a lot of <coughs> unique qualities. Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't. Yeah, sure. And now we gotta, like, look at her face and... And, and we can poke her in the eye and... <laughs> Hey, 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 what's this sword here? You're, you're a pretty kick-ass swordswoman, I'm sure. You don't really you know, utilize that a whole lot. Yeah, why don't you use that in your stage acts? Wait, how did you know this? We're childhood friends. Oh, we are? Yeah. Since when? Since the beginning. Oh. That's that's kind of how we know her, really. Oh. I can look at her chest. I'm trying to look at her chest. I'm trying to just add No, face, you were looking eyes. at her heart. Yeah, I'll go with the eyes. Hey, your eyes remind me of Sakura Shinguji's, but I'm pretty sure her eyes aren't the same color. No, they aren't. <laughs> <laughs> See, the mental imagery of Kamiyama just literally poking Sakura's face, looking for something to talk about, is just making me laugh. Boy, ow! Ah! All right, uh, my eye. Uh, well, you're you're determined. You're determined to achieve your selfish goal. Ah, this is classic. Kamiyama just putting his fingertip on her mouth. Shh, shut the fuck up. You're Fe not gonna feelings it. alone won't help you. All you've done is just talk about your feelings. It's just. Uh, d brooch, yeah. How about the how, how, how about the brooch or the hair? Uh, just, well, just just relax. You know, Sakura. Let me tell you a little something about dreams. Where I'm at right now, I wouldn't exactly call a dream, but it is where I've ended up. I originally had a dream, but dreams change, and you have to adapt to that. Like. Years and years ago, I thought, you know, it'd be great making videos for the internet and that'll be a career. Everybody had that thought back in the early 2010s, you know, and I started back in 2012. And then the idea changed. You know what? Let's just make it for fun and look where we are now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back, dude. You got those numbers. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Most people don't even break that hundred. And that's the hardest hundred to get. Yeah, it looks so silky hair. <laughs> <laughs> Making close, calculated observations. Ah, uh, yes, hair, silky. I think what annoys me the most about her is that she will not adapt at all. She is no, she's not. set in her ways, and the story is saying, that's okay. We, admi well, that's we admire that about her. We admire her rigid, unwavering determination to solve her... to achieve her selfish goals. I mean, that's just sending a bad message to weebs everywhere. If you don't adapt, you're you're probably gonna fail. But I'm, I'm sorry, but that's the cold hard truth. No, don't pull her... it's just... Yep. Pull her closer. Uh, what about the, uh, the what about the apprentice business, huh? Yeah. Give her a but hey, big old that, hug. That might be the best way forward. She said no. She said no. She's not going to. 
but we're gonna force it anyway? I mean, there's your adaptability. Uh, yep, pull her close. No, Do it! Wanna... Do no, it! Oh, uh, fine. But now we got a creepy smile on our face. What are we doing here then? <laughs> Kamiyama looking like a Gengar right now. <laughs> Big old toothy smile. Like speed of sound Sonic. <laughs> 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 yeah! But what about your fucking ribbon then, huh? <laughs> Just like somebody else. You are not a person. It looks great on you. Why? Why do you so badly want to be another person? Like, if this turned into a depressing story about, like, identity and how she, you know, she doesn't want to be herself, that'd be interesting. Her motivations suck. At least, at least everybody else has different kind of motivation. You know, they, they have a different purpose for being in the review, but her, I want to be like Sakura! It's... Like, one of my childhood dreams was, you know, to act exactly like Bugs Bunny. You don't see me trying to be him. Otherwise, I'd just be a big chungus. Oh, you asshole. Oh, no, no, no! God, she glitters! God, what time is it? I, got, I gotta get out of here! I got, oh I got places to go, man! Get off She's of me! She's so close! What's up, girl? Uh, okay, fine. That's fine. I'm gonna fucking do here. Let's, uh... So this is, like, far more intimate than anything in Sakura Wars 5, I'm realizing. Alright, so, I will grasp your hand. Don't worry, I believe in you. I imagine no matter what, you will solve your stupid, <laughs> petty, dumb goal. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a hundred yen, don't spend it all in one place, sport. The, the worst part is she didn't even say why she wants to be so like, you know, how she's gonna be Sakura. It's like, so, Only oh, it's like, I'm, I'm gonna be in the combat review and be a great actor. What, what does that entail? Do, do you, are you gonna I mean, act like her? Are you gonna use the same mannerisms? Are you gonna? You're not dressing like her. So what are you trying to accomplish here? I mean, obviously, UDJ. This is what we find out in the pillow talk. That's why we're in this scene, anyway. Can I talk to a pillow instead? <laughs> Hi, pillow. You have large aspirations, don't you? I mean, you want to be slept on by like ten different people. That's nuts. Uh, I want to hold hands. I just want. I just want to leave. I, I am, I am done hand. talking to you! Nuh-uh. No! no! Give her a big old fat kiss. <laughs> it's almost like we're a couple! Uh, no, we're not. We're not. We're not a couple. <laughs> we're, there's no no couple here. Don't get the wrong idea! <laughs> oh, no! Shut down! Oh, she's, she's gonna get the wrong idea anyway. Yeah! Yeah. Yes, yeah. She did. <laughs> I will. I will take that hit. Get off me. Get off my dick. Oh crap! I must have really hurt her feelings. Well, hey, she's hurt my feelings a couple times already. I think. I think she could take some. Yeah. Yeah. We're not together. Not at all. But the game just can't. I can't get away from her. So this is a lose lose situation, is what you're telling me. I here. should never have come in here. So this is why this episode is so long. Yes! Because <laughs> I it just won't let me behind. leave! No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually dying, Sakura. You need to save me. <laughs> Almost lost control. I want to get out of here. I don't want to kiss her. I'm not going to kiss her. Hey, your hair is cool. <laughs> Do you butt foot stroke your hair? That's what creates high school psychopaths! Oh my god, this is actually happening? Oh, we're still going! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking god! Oh my god, is there a way to like abort mission like you jump out the window? <laughs> that would be so good! Some of the best anime I've ever seen have a abort mission button where you just jump out the goddamn window. Uh. 
like okay we need to I we, officially we need to give her some realism here we need we need to we need to get her a, rea a reality check here oh, anastasia God. is not going to teach you you need to find your own way you need to, to get better on your own basically you need to find your own path and not tread the same path that sakura uh, uh, uh shinguji did Oh my god, I'm so glad you're playing this. Like, this is the only context that works for me, is the fact that <laughs> you're playing this. Uh. I am not! I am so happy you're playing this. I've dedicated more time to this than I really want to. Maybe I feel like if I play it thoroughly, Sega will make a good one. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, if if Jimmy Sega is going around to YouTube videos and being like, Well, guys, he got us. That Ultra Director Jester guy just pegged us and called so New Soccer Wars a piece of shit. I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna have Sakura one. peg me. <laughs> oh, come on, you know you want to. She's adorable. Look at her. Maybe Hatsu. Well, I mean, wouldn't anybody want Hatsuho to peg them? You seen that girl? Oh my god, you got a bromide of yourself! She had a bromide of me. It's a little... little creepy. You know, maybe I wasn't that far off with the, uh, high school psychopath uh, theory. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, uh, what?! You leave me the fuck alone! <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, next thing you know, she's gonna have a sculpture of you in her closet. Just a shrine made to Kamiyama. There's just... Well, hey, let's go get to the bath scene. You know where this is going. Oh, hell yeah, and Hatsuho's here, isn't she? Yeah. Yes. Sup, Hatsuho? Like, what? I'm just, I'm just here, man. Yeah, I, there are... I'm your superior officer. May I remind you? No! Well, you got the wrong idea. I'm I'm just I'm literally just passing through. You know, play it off, Captain. Just leer harder. As well, look around. I'm your captain, not your peeping Tom. But that doesn't work. Why would you even say that? Like, are, are we playing an idiot? Yes. You do you do not say things like that ever. Oh, well, at least we diffuse that. Right, no peeping. Gotcha. I mean, I am... I am the superior officer here. The only man in a group full of women. And, and Rangy. in you go. So I need to be... I need to be mature. I need to set a good example. Straight in you go. But the blue Straight the blue in. mark is still there, though. I mean... Straight in. Uh, and right in. So it's in the bath. I'm out of here. That's actually a thing you can do? Yep. Bye. <laughs> oh, thank God. Wow, what a lot of nothing that was. Yeah, this is definitely a good idea for you to play this, because I totally want to, like, ruin our reputation. <laughs> It doesn't seem that hard. Well, now I'm gonna start actively ruining a reputation with Sakura if I can. What's up, Anastasia? Checking out the pie, Anna? Do you happen to know Claire de Lune? It's played in every anime ever because it's royalty free, I believe. Oh, you, you can tune the piano? Alright, go for it then. Well, I mean, it's it's a good skill to have if you can tune a piano. But nobody around here knows how to tune a fish. Oh, I get it. Hey, UDJ, I've got another joke for you that I recently came up with. I, I hope you can, uh, you know, evaluate my humor. Okay, you ready? How much does the... Uh, how much does the pirate sell his co uh, corn for? How much? A buccaneer. 
You know, I knew I could rely on you to understand terrible humor. Like mine. By the way, good job at getting points for Anastasia. Yeah, uh, just just stroke her ego, and she's got a big one. Indeed she does. But her outfit is really <laughs> distracting. My god. I believe that's the point, and also, in a programming sense, her chest is literally a separate model that can react to her arms moving against them. Like... You want to make her well and dad, that's fine, but why do you got to make her fucking outfit like that? I mean, if she if she twists her torso wrong enough, oh, they're they're, right they're just out. gonna pop right out. It looks oh, it looks stupid. It looks dumb. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We're still not done. We still got another scene. Holy shit! There's there's a lot going on in this episode. Hey, a zombie! I see you haven't left in six hours. Sorry, I'm stargazing. Night watch, huh? Okay. Yes, I, w I watch the night. See? Look, it's night. Well, it's good that you're dedicated. Why the frills? Yeah, that's what I want to say. It makes her look like she's in, like, pajamas or something. But, let's be real and say, what are these missions, anyway? What can you tell me about your missions? Uh, okay, so you just do ninja stuff and help help around. Makes sense. But she likes talking about her missions. She also likes going into soliloquies. But why do they dress her like... You got two different bows, two different sizes, two different colors. Fishnets, I just noticed. This is... This is a weird this one. Is... Oh, wait, that's a, f that's a full fishnet costume. Yeah. Wait, don't Kunoichi normally wear those anyway? Yeah, that's that's not too uncommon. Okay, so that's okay. Well, I mean, good, good, not good, exactly, good on but... you there, uh, Azami. Man, it's fucking Ye late. Uh, <laughs> well, next time on Sakura Wars, more hijinks. Yes. Excited? Well, you better be. Absolutely, I'm loving this. <laughs>